The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District emptied Wilson Lock in Florence, Alabama in late April for much needed maintenance. Managers at the colossal Tennessee River Navigation Lock say work crews are working 20 hours a day fixing and replacing parts in time to reopen it May 17. We try to schedule these deep waters on a three-year cycle due to the problems we have at Wilson. You have to inspect all the components of these locks that are normally underwater. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts, that, your valves, that has seals, there's a lot of concrete, and you've got to inspect them to know what kind of shape they're in. Inspectors looked at the concrete, metal structures, and systems that have been operating underwater since the last dewatering three years ago and core personnel are now making repairs based on the findings. Some of the portions of the valve stay underwater a lot, therefore they get a lot of corrosion, so we're replacing major structures on those. We've also found some pins, pin stocks down at the lower end that actually hold and lift the valve that we've got to replace. And also there's been a lot of major leaking here, and we're trying to replace some of the seals on the bottoms of the valves and gates. We have an excessive leak that's been going on for some time, and we're trying to correct it. Uh, we're also changing A-frames out there that go, go down in the valves. It's actually a, a two-section piece of metal that combines the two pieces. A lot of the other locks do not have A-frames. There's just very few of the locks on the river that has them. So that's, that's unique to this situation. One lock and dam equipment mechanic from Guntersville, Alabama, is spending some of his time at the project repairing the lock gate. These J-seal and these miter box, what seals, the water holds pressure against to hold the water in so we can lock the boats up and down the river. Although the main Wilson lock is closed for maintenance, traffic is still navigating the Tennessee River through the auxiliary lock, which handles significantly less vessels. Uh, it takes three people to operate it. It takes roughly an hour for one barge to lock through. We can lock nine barges at the main lock with one employee in less time. Uh, the old lock is normally closed. We keep it operational, we just do maintenance on it, just to, to know that it will operate if we need it. And the only time it's operated is when we close the main lock. This is Amy Redman reporting for the Nashville District from Wilson Lock in Florence, Alabama.